Deals that I'm underwriting are ones that are selling under $300,000, okay? Why do I want to be there? Because affordability is so bad right now that I would rather pay a little bit more and be a little outside of my range of the 70% rule. As long as it stays in that affordable housing range, they're in such, such short supply, they're the ones that are still moving and moving quickly, and that's just the world that I like to stay in. As you start to get up into more higher-end prices, they're just becoming very difficult for the average house income to purchase. So again, it's just kind of focusing it, my marketing in those areas, the deals that I'm underwriting from wholesalers, I want to stay in those areas because that's where people can still afford to buy. So that 37.7% is the lowest on record since 2012. That, that's, that's as long as they've been keeping track of that number. Um, but the big thing I want to point out here is shelter costs, okay? So shelter costs includes both rental rates and mortgage payments, okay? And so shelter costs are currently over 50% of the inflation you see in the CPI is coming from housing and shelter costs, okay? Housing and shelter costs went up 6% in the last year, okay? And so some things have actually moderated and prices have gone down. Shelter continues to be sticky. And because shelter, both mortgages and rents, are such a huge part of CPI, like if you look, you can break down the report and see how high things have gone. Um, one of the biggest spikes is frozen juice, okay? Anybody in here buy frozen juice? I remember my mom, I don't buy, you buy, I don't think I bought frozen juice in 20 years. My mom used to buy, remember you'd get the thing of lemonade or orange juice and you'd thud, right? Right? And that thing would plop into the thing, and then you'd add water and stir it. I didn't know anybody bought frozen juice, but apparently people are, because frozen juice is up 29.6% in the last reading of the CPI. Like, frozen juice is getting expensive, y'all, okay? So you just can't have to go back to powdered juice, I guess. But frozen juice is expensive. But, so, but nobody cares about that, because it's not a big part of anybody's budget. How is it? Excuse me, housing is a huge part of the budget and a huge part of CPI. So the fact that it still continues to have 6% sticky inflation, upward pressure on those things, is telling you that the Fed, which understands the importance of housing and shelter costs, is not going to be in any big rush to be dropping rates or helping things get any more affordable. Because if they do, it's going to continue to drive prices up and the CPI up. Housing, what we do, is a big part of CPI, and they're going to continue to try to keep pressure on the those rates to make sure that housing doesn't blow up too fast too soon, okay? So just keep that in your mind as we move forward, and you'll see how it's going to affect things as we go, okay?